What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and in today's video I'm going to be doing kind of like a mini competition between a couple different baits made by uh, Imitator Baits, a company that I own. So if you guys want any of the products in today's video, link will be down in the description. Go pick you up some, use code LMB. 10 uh, for 10 percent off your order but uh, before i get into today's video actually t this video might be going up either today which is wednesday or tomorrow thursday um, but i'm going to be down in hot springs arkansas for the flw forest wood cup uh, august 9th through the 11th um, so yeah it's actually this coming weekend like here in like three days or so so I'm gonna be down in hot springs uh, at the at the tournament pretty much I'm not fishing it obviously because the pros do that but I'll be d down there filming for you guys and making some dope videos hopefully um, as well as kind of walking around talking to some companies and stuff like that showing off their products so stay tuned um, but if you guys live in hot springs or you're gonna be at the tournament or nearby shoot me a DM or comment below or get a hold of me somehow and uh, let's hook up let's either fish or we can we can you can say hi to the to the video or it's probably gonna be more of like a vlog or something like that but at least like come say what's up let me know you're gonna be down there and uh, maybe we can we can hook up and possibly go fish or do something like that you know so if you're gonna be down there shoot Shoot me a DM, get a hold of me somehow, some way. Shoot me an email. You can also do that. Link is down, or the my email is also down in the description. But other than that, uh, today's video, I'm gonna be the competition is gonna be, be between a chatterbait and a swim jig. Both, like I said, made by my company, Imitator Baits, um, and uh, they both are gonna have a Guggen Baits Kraken Crawl as the trailer. So. Uh, that bait, the that whole combo together has been super juicy as of lately for myself. So, and I've been sacking them up on it. So, other than that, stay tuned and uh, let's go fishing. Alrighty, guys. So I just got down here to the pond, and uh, I'm gonna be starting off with the swim jig. You guys know we're doing the uh, chatterbait uh, versus swim jig fishing challenge. The last time I was here, I caught quite a few. Uh, on the chatterbait uh, within a small amount of time and so I was thinking well let's just bring a swim jig down here and a chatterbait and just see which one gets a bit more and that kind of thing so I'm gonna give them each 30 minutes uh, I've got a little bit over an hour to fish right now so if I do end up like not catching a fish on one of the baits then I might try to give it some like bonus time or extra time or you know whatnot but I'm going to be starting off with the imitator baits swim jig right here and then I also will be tying on after the 30 minutes I'll be tying on the imitator baits bladen jig uh, as well in a bluegill color so I tried to keep all the variables the same give it 30 minutes right there see your second see your hours we're gonna give her a good old start time and we will see if we can catch any fish on the swim jig. Let's get after it. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got one. First fish on the uh, the new swim jig. Actually, it's not a new swim jig, but first fish on the swim jig is a feisty guy and let me tell you he hammered that one it was actually I actually caught him on his second bite uh, I had cast and and I was farther out and I was bringing it back and and he hit and I missed him um, and I'm guessing he's up here like chasing some bluegill because when I first walked up here there were a lot of like small bluegill that kind of like darted off you know uh, there we go get that out there there we go, a little crack and crawl on the back as the trailer swim jig getting there done. <coughs> um, but so I missed her the first time and uh, uh, cast back in there, and uh, that's when that's when I was able to hook up with the fish. So decent fish. That's fish number one for the swim jig. We're gonna 
get after it. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is, uh, that's my timer, uh, for this 30 minutes. Uh, so, but the thing is, is I just had another bite on, like, my last cast. That was not a good cast right there. But I did have a bite on my last cast, so I'm gonna make uh, just a couple more casts. Oh, I had him again. I had another bite. And this time it was closer, too. Uh,. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can catch this one last fish on the swim jig, and then I'm gonna move, and uh, we're gonna put on the chatterbait. Alrighty, guys. Well, we got the chatterbait tied on, and uh, I'm hoping I'm not gonna be able to lose this guy today, because this is actually the exact bait. Nothing has changed from when I caught that seven-pound bass in. I believe it was the last video you guys saw me post so I'm hoping I don't lose this thing um, the hook is bent slightly but you know we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot so I took it out of retirement today to just fish with it just for this challenge video so hopefully it pays off and uh, we can catch some fish we got one Whoa, that feels like a good one. That feels like a good one. Almost as soon as it hit the water. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Is it a good fish? Oh, yeah, pretty good fish. Oh, yeah, pretty good fish. Oh, heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. What you guys don't know is I just spent the last five minutes. I did turn off my, uh, oh, I did turn off the, uh, uh, timer while I was doing so but for some reason my chatterbait right now is rising to the top of the water I'm not sure why uh, it just it just kind of slowly goes up but uh, and so I'm having to reel this bait really slow and I've tried to bend my my blade I can't I can't bend it too much because my pliers like they're not working the best right now um, and I tried to I did change the trailer just to to a different crack and crawl but other than that it feels that fish feels really good um, nice and healthy too so awesome fish alrighty guys we're gonna get this fishy back in the water I gotta kind of toss them out a little bit because there's a lot of grass right here there's some grass right there but at least I know he's not normally gonna really get stuck in this stuff so awesome fish that feel that fish feels like that fish feels really good because I've, I, like I said, I spent like the fa the past like five to seven minutes trying to figure out how I can keep my bait underwater, uh, and I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, for the rain remainder of the time period. I think I've got like twenty, uh, like twenty three minutes or so left, um, and uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to reel pretty slow. So. Um, I know it kind of stinks, but I'm gonna have to figure this this out. Maybe that's why the uh, maybe that's why I put the bait out of commission, you know. But let's get back at it. Another fish. Another fish. A little bit smaller, but there we go. That is the second fish. On the chatterbait, third fish of the day comes on the chatterbait. So the chatterbait already has two victims um, to its name. So there we go. That is fish number three, like I said. And both my pinchers are gone. So I am going to have to find a new Kraken Crawl. All right. There she goes. Imitator baits a blade and jig. Freaking catching them. There we go. Second fish. Chatterbait, like I said, already has uh, has two fish. Has claimed two fish. Uh, so um, so far the the swim jig is going down for today. But I got to put on a new crack and crawl. Oh, we got one. Another fish. What we got here? What do we got here? A little bass again oh he came off he popped off getting right ready to 
to bring him up. He's just about a pound or so, you know. All right, well, that's three on the chatterbait so far. That dude was still in the water, so I guess you could, you might be able to count him as like a half point or something like that, you know. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, man. Not a big one, but these guys fight. Let me tell you that. These guys in this pond fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a good one. That's a decent one. There we go. That's a solid, solid fish right there, fellas. There we go. Solid fish right there. Very healthy fish. I mean, this is like... This is, when you think, when I'm thinking of a healthy fish, this is what I'm thinking right here. That is, I mean, just beautiful colors, good healthy body, nice and fat right there. Took off another one of my pinchers, you meanie. But there we go, another solid fish on the chatterbait. Awesome. Alrighty, guys, got an Instagram story for you guys. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, what what are you doing? Go go check it out pretty solid and uh there the fishy goes so um other than that that is fish number four for the day uh fish number three on the chatterbait uh unless you're gonna count that one that i had right here at the bank then it's number five but other than that still lots of fun getting out here doing some pond hopping at these ponds today uh, the only thing is I still have six minutes left, so I'm going to keep fishing. I am almost running out of time, like running all the way up to where, because I've got to work today, do some yard work with a guy. So, and that starts at 830 and it is almost eight o'clock right now. So I'm going to really have to get this six minutes done, hurry up, pack up, get out of here and, uh, go make me some money to keep fueling these videos for you guys. But other than that, I'm going to get my line back in there, see if we can't catch just one more fish alrighty guys well that is uh that's that was my timer right there for this last 30 minutes like I said I've got to I, I start working doing some yard work for a guy at like 8 30 I think and it is like it's already past eight so I'm gonna grab my stuff head back to my car and I will catch you guys for the outro. Alrighty guys, so today I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, the chatterbait actually did end up catching more fish and it got way more bites too. Um, but the the one thing I don't know I don't know what was going on um, with like I said in the video you guys heard me uh, how I talked about like the the chatterbait was like rising up to the to the surface of the water I'm not really sure I was also kinda whenever I, I every time I catch a new PB I like take off the lure um, and, and kinda put it in like kinda like retire it I guess you could say um, because of that bait is like kind of special to me you know so uh, now that I caught like my personal best on it so I kind of retire the bait and hang it up on this thing and I might have whenever I was hanging it up there might have bent something uh, especially like in the little snapper or whatever uh, I might have bent it just a tad bit to where it made that bait come up but hey I still caught like four or five fish on it um, and the swim jig caught one fish so um, and I saved I fished different banks for each 30 minutes so on one bank I fished only the uh, the swim jig and then on the other bank I fished only the chatterbait so who knows maybe I could have gone to the to the taking the swim jig to the chatterbait bank and caught more fish on the on the swim jig but I was trying to save like 30 minutes for one and 30 minutes for the other so um, other than that thank you guys for watching if you guys haven't checked out fly south apparel go check them out Get a hold of me if you're going to be down at the uh, FLW Forestwood Cup in Hot Springs, Arkansas this weekend here in just a couple days. So I will be down there filming, fishing, hopefully doing the whole shebang. So stay tuned, fellas. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.